What's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about the Browns run game. We're going to talk about how hiring a Bill Callahan has been the greatest hire the Browns have had in years and how it's paying dividends for the Browns run game. This is the biggest secret in the NFL that nobody's talking about. They're efficient, they do a good job, and it's putting Baker Mayfield in a really good situation to make plays within the system. Cannot wait. Love watching it. Let's do it. What's up, guys? Let's sit down. Let's talk about what happened and how Bill Callahan is the greatest hire the Browns could have made for this team. So let's talk about a couple things. Number one, I really want to talk about Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb as a duo together. First of all, these two running backs are the perfect zone running backs that they want. Nick Chubb was a huge zone running back at University of Georgia. And next, you know, Kareem Hunt is a great zone running back, and he showed that when he played for the Chiefs. So let's talk about the wide zone they run. Let's talk about how this is sneakily the best run game in the NFL right now. Now notice how, notice how they bring the tight end across the formation. What this is going to do is it's going to create nice combos to the front side of this. So what they're going to look for, you're going to look at wide zone. You're going to get a double tight end combo to the outside linebacker to the slid over inside backer. You get the strong safety walk up on the weak side. And this is really simple and really easy for them to make a concept call here. You're going to get a solo block by the offensive tackle. And they feel comfortable making the solo blocks for some of these old linemen because they feel like they can handle the, some of the D linemen of the Texans. Next, you're going to get a combo from the right guard and center up to the Mike Backer. And then you're going to get the left tackle, left guard combo working together on the three to the backside safety. Because that safety is all the way out, then all you have to do is just shield J.J. Watt from getting too close inside. Let's watch how it happens. The first combo isn't bad at all. I think 88, does, does a, he's a little too fast on this. And to be honest with you, Nick Chubb probably could have stayed on path if he really chose to. But he's taught well. Don't bubble from your. Don't bubble away from your your uh, concept or your path. If he would have stayed outside, he probably would have had to bubble this, and that's not what he's looking for. But one thing that happens very well right here, okay? He probably should have taken this outside. Still learning, but now watch the combos up front. Center right guard are working together so well. Watch the watch the zero step. Now watch the zero step of this center or excuse me, this right guard. He steps underneath himself a little bit, but what he's doing is he's opening himself to the path that he needs to get himself to, to that linebacker. The rule for them is they're going to block the linebacker on the path they find him. So watch what happens. This is going to work together. Chubb's, Chubb's path of departure is what's going to take these linebackers. Now watch the left guard and left tackle. Left guard, left tackle, get a nice wash. Running back's going to put his foot in the ground. He pushes a little too early, and that's why the linebacker's there. Now watch if he would have if he would have taken two more steps, okay? Two, three. If he would have taken two more steps, he probably could have washed this whole thing and gotten up the field. But again, this is a nice cutback by Chubb. This is a huge gain for a team that struggled running the ball for years. Okay, now we're going to talk about a couple things here. First things first. Let's talk about how they line themselves properly and they're allowing themselves the opportunity okay, to get in a successful run scheme based on numbers. So they're going to send the motion of the tight end across the receiver across the line of scrimmage. All they're doing is they're watching the they're watching the strong safety to see if he rolls with this. And there's a reason they do this. Okay. First thing I want to show you, it's all about numbers. If you look to the right side over here. There's three guys with a strong safety rolled and a linebacker playing the middle. It's impossible to get the numbers that you want from this concept. You would have to ask this tackle to go solo, the center and guard to work to that guy, and the next combo would work to this Mike linebacker. That can't happen. So what happens is, you can see it right here, he makes an opposite call, Oscar call for some of you guys that watch the LA Rams. So he's going to take it to the strong side now. Strong side has numbers. They have one, two, three, four, five defenders, and they have five blockers. They're going to match head for head. So let's watch how it happens. They're going to point out the free safety or the strong safety roll down for the, for the fullback. He's got point man here. Okay. Now, 
Very simple. Watch what happens when they slid over with the motion. You're going to have a solo kickout block by the tight end. And the first combo, because the fullback is going to mic point this safety, is all the way back over the center. So the left guard and left tackle are going to have to go all the way back to this, which means they can stay on this block for as long as they really want. The real crucial block here is can this center make a block on this shade and try to get him where he wants to go? Right guard, right tackle, this is easy. You're gonna get a cutoff right here. This wall is gonna get built right here and this is where this play should hit. So watch, there's your concept call. Notice that 71, he hangs on this. He probably could have hung a little longer but he saw that the defensive lineman went away from him. Okay, guard gets his head around and he gets the hook block. Okay, so now we know, reading our concept keys, that this guy is going to push forward. Easy kick out block with the tight end because that the outside linebacker is, or that defensive end, is the force player. So he has to stay outside. Watch how this thing pushes through. See how the alley, see how the left guard or the left tackle can now hold on to this as long as he wants to make sure that, line, that linebacker doesn't get over the top. Fullback inserts himself through. Kareem Hunt finds himself a nice hole, and he just reads the block of that. He reads the block of the fullback on the safety. Now, Kareem Hunt runs hard now. Let's get it real. He runs hard and makes this play, but I want you to see the hole created by the Browns here. Let's watch this. Guys, in the NFL, holes like this don't happen. And that is a huge hole in the NFL and a great play by the offensive line and a great run by Kareem Hunt. Show you one more on the goal line. Show you what's really happening right here. Okay, so if you go back early and we look at this, he makes another Oscar call. Look at that. He, he calls Oscar because he has numbers to a side that he wants. He switches opposite. Notice the center calls out the mic call. He calls the first combo. This play was designed to go weak, but look, they couldn't run this weak because there's one, two, three, four guys to the weak side. And really, you're going to ask this guard to hook a sh no shade, and you're going to have five for five. They don't like the numbering, the numbering here. Okay, What you're going to see is you're going to see this. You're going to see a nice combo. You're going to see a combo between the tight end and tight end. Going to work the outside backer to the safety. Okay, You're going to get a tackle on a solo block right here. Now you're going to get a center. Excuse me, you're going to get a, t a combo with the guard and tackle on 91 to 41. You're going to get a solo with the center. You're going to get a cutoff block here and a cutoff block here. This is a great play. Watch the rocker step by, by Nick Chubb. You're going to get a nice combo. You're going to get an easy push out. You're going to get an easy push out, and he's going to climb to 41. Running back's path takes these linebackers outside of the play. Okay, you get a little high-low action right here, but notice the guard is trying to disconnect, so this is not going to be called a high-low because he's trying to leave. Center takes 92 across the field. Running back puts his foot in the ground for his fifth step, reading that nose guard, puts his foot, gets vertical, does a great job. He ends up cutting back, which some people tell you not to do, but he's an athlete, guys, and that's why this play is so successful. Watch the flow created by this play, and the cutoff has happened naturally by J.J. Watt getting high and outside. Guys, again, NFL, that hole is big enough to drive a Mack truck through. Now, it closes quickly, but I want to understand, guys, this is great blocking. I really need to emphasize Bill Callahan, hired by the Browns, was one of the greatest hires the Browns made, and it was so crucial for the success this year. And it's putting Baker Mayfield in a really good situation where he doesn't have to win games. He just has to do his job in the system. Thank Denver Broncos, Think Denver Broncos, Terrell Davis. Think about any of these teams where they're not asking their quarterback to be a guy. Play action, boots, hand the ball off to your guys and get four yards a pop. This is why the zone system is so popular in the NFL. Guys, loved it. Please, feedback, comments. Can't wait to hear from you. If there's anything you want to see, let me know.